Hey y'all, it's Scott Bach Hansen, Director of Congregational Care and Adult Discipleship here at Hernan United Methodist Church. This is Wednesday, February 23rd, and if it's Wednesday, it must mean it's Real Talk. So this is our, our Real Talk weekly video check-in series that we do midweek just to check in with everybody to find out what's happening in our lives, also those in our community to talk about the weekly worship service or different programs that are coming up. And just a, a time for sharing what's coming up or what's happening in our world. So, um, as we know, we're approaching this Lenten series that uh, we've been talking about for a while. And I'm going to share more about that in a minute. But this coming Sunday, we are going to finish the sermon series that we started on this, I promise you, our shared commitments. And so, Pastor Jonathan is going to be leading us this week in the sermon talking about witness. So our shared commitments talks about our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. So this week, as we prepare to get ready for this service that's coming up this Sunday, um, I would hope that you would consider just maybe thinking about where have you seen God? Um, not just within the walls of the church, although I hope you've really experienced that through the different programs and ministries we have. But also maybe outside of church, you know, maybe you you've seen something that that just caught your attention. Um, you know, I think that there's always opportunities for us to to be able to see things and go, wow, that that was pretty cool. I I will tell you, I am a sucker for military homecomings. Um, I started watching this thing called TikTok. I really uh, I need I need more help on this because I think I'm doing it wrong. But I, I, I liked a video of military reunions or homecomings, and now they come in just dozens and dozens of them. Um, and so I have to stop because I do get a little emotional seeing families reunite, especially, you know, with little kids um, being able to, to see their, their you know, mother or father for the first time in a long time. So um, I, but I see God in that, and I see, I witness that, and I think, wow, what an amazing thing that is, but it's also an opportunity for us to not just witness things, but also to be witnesses and be able to, to share the good news that's out there. So again, this Sunday, 10 o'clock, Doe Fellowship Hall will also have it live stream. Pastor Jonathan is going to be sharing a great service on witness. Um, I'm really excited about it. I also want to thank uh, from the staff. Uh, we heard what you shared with us about the, the positive experience that we had in the worship service last Sunday when we were talking about service. And just a different style and um you know i just we have a great staff and i'm blessed to be part of this great group so um but we want to say thank you for the that feedback it it you know it, it does help um you know it's it's not always easy to put things together on a weekly basis and try to find new and, and different ways to be able to share a, a worship service so um you know I, I would say that if, if something speaks to you, if the music speaks to you or a prayer speaks to you or the message speaks to you, um, we really appreciate positive comments. So thank you for those. Um, now, as we talk about witnessing, uh, I, I think it's really important to talk about something else that's going to be happening. And that's we're getting ready to start our, our Lenten season next Wednesday, March 2nd at 7 p.m. We have our Ash Wednesday service in Doe Fellowship Hall. Hope that you'll be able to make it out. We'll have ashes there. We'll have a small service, uh, small as far as the, the, a shorter service than normal. And we'll just be able to experience uh, that time together. And when I think about Lent and I think about what happens during Lent, everyone always starts thinking it's almost like when you're dealing with New Year's resolutions that people start talking about, well, I'm going to I'm going to give up this and and give up that and and the same thing happens during Lent season. I'm going to give up social media, I'm going to give up, you know, fast food, I'm going to give up watching, you know, TV and you know whatever it is that they're going to do that for 40 days. Now, um, we can talk about how important those things are to you in your life and whether giving them up is really really a big deal to you or if it's something that you um, you know, can can deal with. I I remember I gave up soda. Um, and uh, during Lent, and I'm I'm happy to say I haven't had soda since in like the last five years. Now every once in a while I, I will say I have a ginger ale, but I, I used to drink six diet cokes a day plus, and so yeah, obviously that was not not good for me. Um, and so I, I'm excited to say that there are some good things that can come out of it. 
But it's not always about giving something up. It's also about maybe taking something on. Maybe there's something out there that you, maybe you say, you know what, I'm going to pray every day. I'm going to pray the 701 prayer every day. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I, I read the read, ponder, pray every day. I'm going to take on something new, some new spiritual development that brings me closer and draws me closer to God and feeling the Holy Spirit. One of the things that, that, that does that is uh, Lenten devotionals. Now, we have Advent devotional series. There are Lenten devotional series. There are books that come out, and people write them. If you Googled Lenten devotional series, you'd find hundreds, if not thousands, of Lenten devotional series uh, you know, at your fingertips. Um, yesterday, when I was down in class at Wesley, I received a couple. So um, I got this one here from uh, a, 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 an old friend, Yutha Hardman Cromwell. She's a retired professor um, and also a retired pastor in the Virginia Annual Conference. Um, but this is from the Society of St. Andrew. And the Society of St. Andrew puts one of these out every year. They are uh, focused on hunger relief ministries. And they do things like potato drops and seed projects and other things. And so they put one of these out every year to try to hopefully generate some interest for people to also consider donating to their great charity. So um, just one of the good ones I've seen. Um, this one here is, is a little closer to my heart. This is one that uh, Wesley's putting out. This is the Wesley Community Lenten Devotional. And um, by the way, you got to remember that there's an envelope in here. So they're probably looking for some type of... Uh, donation for sending this out. This goes out to all the alumni. There are devotionals in here that are written by uh, alumni, by professors, by bishops, um, and a handful of students. And um, I'm excited to say that I'm one of the students. This is uh, my devotional that I wrote this year. So um, I'm thankful for that opportunity and, and, and blessed to do it. So I look at these things and I say, well, this is a great opportunity for us to also consider getting closer to God, looking to find ways that we can connect and read through a Lenten series. So there is a Lenten series. We talked about it last week. If you, if you didn't watch Real Talk last week, I had um, our good friend Brian Johnson on. Brian is the senior pastor down at Haymarket United Methodist Church, Haymarket Church, um, and a, a good friend of both uh, Jonathan's and mine. And he has put together this uh, Lenten series for the last couple of years. And he's done it again. This is going to have a group of, of pastors and academics and, um, you know, people from not only the Virginia Annual Conference, but all across uh, really the, the East Coast and, and maybe beyond. I haven't gotten into every single one of these yet. But, um, but I think it's a great Lenten series. Uh, our own Pastor Jonathan has, uh, has contributed to this. And so... You'll see something that gets pushed out. Um, we'll have it in, in an email. We'll also have stuff in uh, the app where you'll be able to pull it down. And we'll probably steal some of this for our Reponder Pray. But I really think it's a great opportunity for us to be able to do this together. Now, this is not going to be a formal, we're hopping on Zoom on this day and, and doing it this way. No, there's a couple of different ways, though. So first of all, um, starting in March, after the, the, the service at 10 o'clock, we're going to have some tables off to the side, and we're going to just talk about the Lenten study. We're going to we're going to talk about one or two of the devotionals that are that are listed. We're going to have uh, an opportunity to speak about them. So we'd hope that maybe you would read those devotionals during the week. There's two to three devotionals each week until we get to Holy Week, and then it gets a little bit more condensed when we get to Monday Thursday all the way through through Easter Sunday, um, and so they'll be a little bit more consistent. But we're going to do this every Sunday through Palm Sunday. Um, and it will just give us a chance to, to hang out and talk about the Psalms, kind of more of a conversational thing um, that you may be used to. Also, if you are part of a small group, if you're part of a UMW study, if you're part of the Esther group, or if you're part of UMM, um, Morning Glory, lots of different groups we have within the church. Sorry if I left anybody out. I didn't, didn't do it intentionally. Um, but I want to share with you that we would hope that you would take this, that the leaders of your group would take this and say, hey, before we uh, write these cards or put these cards together, or before we do this project, let's just read this devotional. Um, when you meet with your groups, like the Top of the Hill gang, I, I had some great opportunities to spend their time there. Um, and I know Dave Young does a great history lesson, but maybe this month we just reread one of the devotionals. 
and and just talk about it. What did it, where did you hear? What did it make sense to you? What words spoke to you? Is there anything that that you can apply in your life to this? And then there's a, a you know an opportunity to prayer. So this is called the Psalms that my Lord said. This is the 2022 devotion, 2022 devotional, and so this will be pushed out. It will be an opportunity for you to be able to um, to do this in your small groups. Again, you can just pick one. Like maybe you say, "Hey, our meeting's this coming Wednesday." By the way, we're going to pick the devotional that uh, Grace Hahn wrote on this date. And and please find this. You could even uh, find ways to to copy and paste that and and put it into your email so people can read it right there. So um, it's a great opportunity just for us to be able to, to connect and be able to take something on, not always giving something up. And so uh, with that, I hope that that makes sense to you. If you need to you know, want to learn more about it, go to last week's Real Talk. I had a conversation with Brian Johnson who put this together. This is the one from the 16th, so last week. And it's a great opportunity just to hear how he's put it together and what the vision was that, that he has for how we might be able to use it and strengthen our relationship with God. Um, look, everybody, I understand that you can do other studies as well, and, and I don't want to tell you that you shouldn't do those studies. I I just ask that maybe you consider doing this for your devotional, for your groups, and for your committee meetings and other things. So um, with that, that's what's going on this week. And so we got a lot going on between the service this Sunday. We're talking about witness. We're having our Ash Wednesday service on March 2nd, um, and we're also going to be starting our Lenten Devotional Series. So um, a lot going on. This is starting to get to be a busy time. Um, I'd also, uh, again, thank you for the positive comments for last week's worship service. They go a long way. We don't we don't fish for compliments. We're not out there doing this, uh, you know, and putting these things together for worship service. We're, we're there to worship God. Um but I will say it is nice to hear a positive feedback from you in the community. So if the prayer spoke to you or the music spoke to you, um, you know, see us after the service and just tell us or, or, or write a note, an email. Um, it, it does help us go a long way. Um, you know, and, and trying to do services in pandemic where it speaks to people in the room as well as on video, um, it's really important. I also want to tip my cap to our, our technology and sound team. Um, last week we had a lot of moving parts, right? And um, and I went back and watched it, and I I would say that it, I thought it went very well, and they've worked really hard. So um, kudos to to Julie and Ken and and Jen and the and the guys that are working the soundboard and and the cameras and just everything that's going on back there. Um, sometimes we take for granted. So I want to I want to thank them. So with that, whew, man, we got a lot going on. Um, but I want to end with this. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity to be able to share this time and this great community and fellowship. Help us to be witnesses. Help us to find ways that we witness God and that we can also be witnesses to be able to share the good news with others. Let us help Help us to go out into the world and to remember this. And let us also remember the, the great things that we do here at Herndon Community uh, and, and, and within the, the church itself and this, this wonderful opportunity for us to be able to reconnect with you, Lord. Lord, we pray this in your son's name. Amen. My friends, thank you so much. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. God bless.